I'm Hala Hanina. I'm a PhD student and activist. It's been the, the saddest, the scariest, the craziest, the most appalling thing I've ever, I've ever witnessed. Uh, like, I've witnessed in Gaza six other aggressions since 2008, and all of them were so ugly, so bad, so brutal. But this level is something unprecedented, even for people who know the Israeli brutality. And one of the worst things is the sky. I love the sky. I used to be a sky gazer, someone who looks at the stars all the time and the moon. However, since this started, and I know our, our sky in Gaza, which I love, I really love, is now full of drones, full of Apache, of F-35, F-16, that is literally bombarding every single living in Gaza, people and the buildings. So I wasn't able to, to look at the sky the same way, and I hated each time I had to look at the, at the sky. I felt I have my body in a place and my mind and, and feelings in another place. I felt totally disconnected. I would be at any second, usually I'm a very strong woman, I don't show tears at all, but I would be crying in any second. So although we are trying, and we have been trying for more than 75 years to preserve ourselves, to preserve our land, to keep our heritage and memory and all of that, Israel doesn't allow that to us. And the international community is helping them. No one's standing by us. I can't see a future because Israel have literally demolished our heritage and historical places and killed our elderly. And usually, you wouldn't think really of a future when you don't have a past. And they are trying to eradicate our past. And because now we're still at this like status of ambiguity, we're at the, at the middle of that, so I can't foresee the future. I can only see our people starve to death. Each genocide changes a lot of us, uh, in us. So whatever we had as, as a family, as a group, as a community, doesn't exist anymore.